any kid who plays baseball often would have a, a hero in one of the major league teams that he would want to imitate. A high school football player or quarterback would pick out someone in the NFL that, would, that he would like to imitate. And even as adults, there are people that come across our lives that we would like to imitate because we recognize their success, their goodness, their strength. And I think what St. Paul is saying to us in letter to the Ephesians today is that the one person that we must imitate is Jesus Christ himself. He should be our hero. All the saints who we know are canonized in the church are our heroes too. And all of us have favorite saints that we like to imitate. And that's a good thing. The primary person that we imitate is Christ. St. Vincent de Paul said that um, he would often have the practice when he was faced with any situation at all, he would ask himself the question, what would Jesus do? And when he would reflect upon that, he could make a good decision. What would Jesus do? We all have things that happen in our lives day by day and that frustrate us or get us upset or we have a concern about. We have to say, what would Jesus do? And if we come, we think, don't have to think much when we know that our Lord was filled with compassion and mercy, understanding and forgiveness, all those things should be a part of our lives. When he talks about married love and St. Paul does in the first reading today, husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? He stretched out his arms on the cross and he died for her. What woman would not really love and be subordinate to a husband who would love her that much? And that's really what St. Paul is saying. It's a tall order, but he goes on to say, then wives respect your husbands. It works both ways. He could still say, wives love your, love your husband as Christ loved the church. And again, what would Jesus do? If we want to, and Paul says this is a great mystery because it's in reference to Christ in the church. He compares Jesus' commitment and love to the church to the commitment of husband and wife in marriage. And the husband and wife who truly love each other, we should look at them and say, see how they love each other? That's how much Christ loves the church. And so it's, it's a tall order because in our human weakness, we often fail. But we must never give up the effort um, to love as Christ did, whether we're married or single or whatever our vocation is. We're all called to love as Christ did. And if we do that, what a, what a better place the whole world would be. Let us stand now and offer our prayers and petitions.